So good morning, guys. So to this morning, we've done uh, hors d'oeuvres. We have that one, and then we had our main course. So see why I'm taking the Tupperware at work and then left the uh, small plate for us. But anyway, so back to our dessert. Our dessert today is um, banana fritters. But in the Philippines, we call them uh, in Cebu, Pinay Pie. What? You know, in, in, in Manila too, uh, we call them uh, Pinay Pie. As you know, there's lots of variety of uh, banana. So we have our regular banana, which is going brown. So that's going to be a smoothie or banana bread later on too on my dish. Um, so we have this tiny low banana. See that? It's like almost one finger. Uh, these are all-time favorite uh, in the Fili uh, in the Philippines. Cebu mostly. My dad eat the whole, the whole um, you know the whole thing of it, like this, and you know this is just the half. So, also, when we're in Hawaii, this my uh, it's my first time to know called um, apple banana. But in here, it is known called uh, Thai banana. So this Thai banana is very versatile. You can eat just like this, uh, right? When it's green, you can boil it green and, you know, uh, eat it, of course. Or you can make a fritters out of this. So this is what I really like. We also have banana in uh, the Philippines called sabak. But it is hard to find that. So this is the closest one we can get. Also, we have the plantain. As you can see, sa mga Pilipino dyan, hindi ito sira. Uh, the darker of the plantain, of course, you know, people here in America know this is not bad. Bad banana. It is good. It's still edible. Just need, uh, this is the ripest that you can get. If you get, you know, the uh, aloe still green, it would be hard to peel. So we're going to go ahead, both use this. So we're going to make pinay pie um, for our dessert, banana. So what we need, we need one cup of flour right here. Okay. All right, so one cup of flour, and you'll be surprised. We need this guy right here. One can, if you have a can, go ahead and use that. But this one, this is what we're going to use. What this does is, um, this is the bubble, the carbonation of this uh, soda makes the, uh, the tempura like, um, you know, plus the... Um, our butter so that we get this nice crunchy all right so there you have it one cup and we just need a whisk tiny little whisk you just whisk it up okay so it's a little dry so we're gonna add maybe half a cup do not put too much you know you can put you know a little bit a little bit at a time but do not over water this you do not have to put a lot of liquid. Okay, this is a quick one also. Alright. So in here, so you want this. Look like, uh, you know, watery, um, like um, buttered. Look like um, pancake, but it's a little watery. Okay? Alright, so that's what we want. Alright, so we'll put that aside. Now we're gonna peel the banana. I'll show you. So I have here uh, stoves already on, and I'm gonna put the uh, oil because we're gonna make critters. You know, critters we put, we deep fry just a little bit. I don't wanna waste too much oil. All right. So all you do in here so you just peel it like that okay see all right and then 
be careful your hand okay don't cut it all the way so you can get about three or four but I'm gonna do four oh when I go home to the Philippines have this a couple and so that's what it looks like right right there okay so it look like a fan that's why it's a fan fried banana fritters okay so we'll go ahead and make more I just need um, to you know cook a couple just for you know for this video uh, my husband like this too and there you go again see just like that when it breaks see that's okay because the butter will fix that up all right for this oops so see for the filipino sa mga kababayan ko ganito so, we have plantain in the philippines but very rare so ito na po just like this so you can use plantain for this uh, this kind of uh, dessert too. See, uh, this banana fritters, we eat this, you know, like our snacks. As you know, in the Philippines, we eat about six times, if you can afford it. So you just make like this, okay? See, the fun part about this is making the pan. Alright. So, I'm going to use this up because it's getting to the last leg, this banana. But I just love banana. But, as you can know, you know guys, if you do not know, um, be careful if you're a female. Well, I don't know about male too, but um, I have low scare uh, last year. I was feeling dizzy all the time uh, when I get up or when I do anything. Um, I get this black spill, blackout spill time to time. I thought it might be just, you know, um, allergy. Found out I overeat my banana. So there you go. All right, so that's all we're gonna do. So this one we can eat this ripe. My husband like to eat that ripe. So in here, there you go. So we got our butter, right? So see, it's nice and thick. All right. So what you do? You just dunk it in. Like that. Your hand, one hand's gonna get a little dirty, but that's okay. And be careful. So, there you go. Same thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and put the other ones. All you have to do is just to brown this. Uh, because it's gonna get cooked right away no doubt I've done this so many times oopsie see my banana I wanna separate them I don't want it too thick right there okay so remember the broken pieces so we just add that there see and then there's another one so we just Reunite, reunite this one with the other one. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hand. It's almost time for me to go to work. It's getting late, so I use this guy right here. See, they just get loosened really quick. All right, so see. And when this thing done, what you do, you sprinkle this with um, uh, sugar. You can use powdered sugar, but in the Philippines, we use just regular sugar. Oh, delicious. So I'm going to use tongs for this guy right here. All 
right. So I think I can put one more. See, there's so many types of banana, and you do, you know, there's, um, we don't know, you know, there's every country, they have their own way how to cook their banana. But in Cebu, in the Philippines, this is what our one one of the um, fun dessert to have. All right, so oh, I broke one. Try to finish this up because I have to get ready to work for work. Okay, almost done. Put that there. <laughs> I just used this one. All right. So, you see this guy right here. Oopsie. See, that's done. So I'll take this out. So we did that. Right, so you just like that to drain out and then it's very very quick to make this dessert or snacks. Oh you know what's good with this thing? I tried this before. Ice cream, vanilla ice cream. And if you can find Filipino uh, made magnolia uh, brand a product try that one because it is delicious that our ice cream even though we don't um, we don't raise a cows a lot cows in the Philippines nowadays we do before we do a uh, carbow and so cheese milk fresh milk is very limited growing up not that we, we could afford it, we cannot afford it too, even if it is around. We do we know there's a milk, you know, um, fresh milk available. Oh, okay, so well, there's some butter from this thing. All right, so now you got the idea. How we cook our famous pan fried banana it's very quick you guys really quick all you do is just really um, you know brown the uh, the butter and um, okay so I do want to put sugar in mine I'm just gonna show you guys See that? It just flaked out. Oh, delicious. Look at that. It's hot. Be careful. Really hot. And you hear that? Mmm, crunching. Oh, yum. Yeah. Just finish this up. So, I'm gonna leave all this at home because I guarantee you my husband likes this a lot. So, I do want to share this to other people. But you can watch the video and uh, make it yourself. Now you know what to get. Oh, this banana, by the way, the, uh, the apple banana or the Thai banana. You can find this banana in your local Asian store. They have it. We always have or if not available you don't have Asian store you know what to get you can get the uh, plantain or you can just even cook the regular banana but make sure it's not really ripe it's still like in the greenish side most yellow and that's what's a perfect you know um, um, you know banana I think they're like, uh, if you buy the banana, they call that uh, number one. 
you know, the banana, they have numbers. Um, there, it's done. Let's see. As you can see, I only use about uh, a cup and a half of oil. And we still have a lot of oil. Alright, so I'm going to turn this down. Because I have one more dish. I hope I'm not late. So this side, uh, the other dish, I will surprise you. It's a really cool dish too. Alright, so that's done. So we're still going to use this for our dish. Um, I hope I have enough time. So look what I've done this morning, you guys. I have the banana fritters. That's our dessert or snacks and of course we have our spinacopita and um, delicious I had three already that's my breakfast and of course our pancit now I need to put my cheese I forgot to put my cheese all right so my next dish is this that's why you can see it's still this guy still here what it is, is um, you're gonna stop the crab. Um, I buy, you know, um, as you know, I love to eat crabs, um, seafood in particular. And I will show you the easiest one. So I save all my shell, as you can see. And um, I have some already made, but um, I will show you. How I mix my, uh, I will stop my crab, but uh, hang on. Here, so we're gonna cut. Uh, so I got my, my, oopsie. I have my, uh, I have my 